Hey, in this video, we are going to install MediaPipe for Android, which means that you would be able to integrate MediaPipe library with uh, Android applications. In case you don't know about MediaPipe, uh, it's a great uh, library built by Google. Let me just show you that. And it allows you to uh, do various type of applications such as face detection, face mask and uh, face mesh, sorry, and iris detection and pose a lot of cool applications you can build and all of them are available for Android. So in this video, we are going to see how you can install for Android. Plus you could have already seen uh, this intro screen uh, which shows you face mesh, which is one of the application, one of the coolest application I would say of MediaPipe. So let's see how you can also do for your Android. And till the end of this video, I assure you, you will also going to have one of the application on your device, which is going to do such amazing task on your phone. Obviously, I haven't done anything. I am just going to take you through how to install. So in case you feel any problem or stuck anywhere, you can ask in down comment section or you can message me uh, direct on Discord plus on my Facebook page. All the link will be in down description. So let's start by going to this website. I will leave the link to this website and we'll click on getting started and we want to install for Android. So I'm going to say media pipe on Android. So first of all, let's see what are the prerequisites. So it says you need to have media pipe. So let's see these instructions to see how to install. And I'm going to install on Debian and Ubuntu because I'm using Linux. In case you are using Windows, you have to come in over here and, and do the following stuff. Well, I feel like the steps would not should not be much different at all. But in case if you want separate tutorial for Windows, let me know in down comment section. I might make video on that also. So I'm going to go with Debian, Ubuntu or Linux. So first of all, we have to install Bezlist. So click on this uh, Bezel documentation. And for doing that, you have to copy this command, which is npm install, open the terminal and paste this command in over here. Let's give a sudo and give the password. All right. So this command will going to install um, bezel disk in your PC and it might take some time, but I have already already installed. So it didn't took any time. Now we have installed this. So first step is completed. Now you have to change your directory to home directory. Well, it's most probably if you are using brand new terminal, then it should be home directory, but still let's say CD percent home dollar home. Now you have to clone the repository, which is this media pipe repository. And I have already done that. Let me just show you how will that look like once everything is completed. So in your home directory, there will be a new folder created once you run this line over here. So this folder will going to create it and all the files will be on your PC. And this is going to take some good amount of time because it contain a lot of files and a lot of models, pre-trained models. So it is going to take some time. So once you've done that, you need to change the directory from the terminal to media pipe directory. So let's do that. Now we are in media pipe. Let's say print working directory. All right. So we are in media pipe. Now you have to follow the further step, which is third step, which is to install OpenCV and FM. MPG. So let's just copy and paste this line again. It's going to take some time in your in your case. I have already already installed now in over here. It says that if you have Ubuntu uh, greater than or equals to 20.04, you might have to do the following things in your uh, workspace and open civil Linux build and FFMPG. Let me just show you where does this file located. This is the workspace. So you have to make the following changes to the workspace, which is this file. And in the third party, these files are there, which is uh, FFMPG build and OpenCV Linux build. But in my case, I haven't do, uh, I didn't did anything such that, but still it was working. So I'm not going to go in that. In your case, if you feel uh, any, if you find any error, then you can ask me in down comment section, but we are not going to do anything such that. Now, uh, this is for GPU acceleration. I'm going to do for CPU. So I'm just going to, move to step number five which is to export this so let's copy and paste all right variable created and now there are two commands this command and this command this is for running on gpu this is for running on cpu let's uh, uh, copy this running on cpu and copy and paste this in over here it's going to take some time and once everything is finished you should see this hello world um, about 10 times on your terminal so let's see uh yeah here it is so obviously it's going to take some uh, about six to seven minutes in your case, but I have already done that. So it's just fast from the cache, I guess. So you should see this hello world. If you, if you have seen this, which means that you have successfully installed media pipe on your PC. So now it's time to install on 
Android. So let's close this tab now. Now I'm back to uh, install MediaPipe on Android, which is the previous tab. And now we have done with these instructions. So next thing you should have Java runtime. And if you have already installed Android Studio, you should have Java. And let me just open this Android Studio because next step is to install SDK and NDK. So let's see how to do that. Okay, so you see that it requires SDK greater than or equals to 28 and NDK version between 18 to 21. So uh, if you have installed Android Studio, the highest probability is that you should have SDK already installed then you have to install NDK. But if you don't have uh, Android Studio, you have to run this uh, .sh file, which is setup Android SDK NDK .sh. But I have installed Android S Studio. So I'm going to open the Android Studio. You have to go in file, then settings. Then from setting, you have to go in appearances and then system setting. And in uh, second last, you see Android SDK. Just click on that. And it is going to uh, take some time to fetch the updates. And if you come in over here as this again, let's just wait and let it finish. So the loading is finished now. And if you, if I go to SDK platform and here, the second option is SDK tools. And if I go to back to Chrome and you see that um, we need NDK version between 18 to 21, which means that if you go in SDK tool and the second option, probably you would see that NDK side by side. And in your case, it might be installed or it might not be. You can just click on this NDK and in bottom right corner, you see that show package detail. Just click on that and you see if you come in over here, uh, NDK side by side, you should have installed 21 uh, between 21 to 19, sorry, 18 to 21. So you should have to choose any version in between that. I have installed this one. So uh, it is highly recommended to use the version in between that. Otherwise, you will going to face error. So our first uh, prerequisite is completed, which is having the NDK version between 18 to 21. I have already installed that. In your case, you have to install and it's going to take some time. Uh, to install, you just have to choose the version. Let's say I want to install this. You can click on apply. Then it's going to take some good amount of data, which is around 1 GB. So you have to be prepared that whole process will going to take around 3 to 4 GB of internet. So you have to be prepared with enough data. And I have installed just to save your time. So the next step is to having the SDK release greater than 28. And if I go to SDK platform, uh, we have API level of 30 installed. So it's good. We are good. We are good to go. Now, if I come below over here, you need to set up the path for Android Home and Android NDK Home. Now, in case you are following with Linux, it should have been installed um, in over here. So in your home directory, there should be a Android folder or if you are on Windows, it might be in program files, I guess, uh, program files and Android Studio. You just find out in your case. But in Linux, you should see uh, this Android folder and in Android, there is a SDK and this is your SDK path. So let's just copy this path from here. And, but before let's copy this export Android home. Let's paste this. Now copy the path and give it to the terminal and hit enter. That's it. We have set the path for Android Home. Now it's time to set the path for NDK. All right. So let's copy this, paste this over here. And in case for NDK, you will see this NDK folder inside SDK. Let's click on this. And the version is 21.4 in my case, or in your case, it might be different. Let's copy this path, paste this over here, hit enter. That's all. All right. So now uh, you just have, you are just two, two command away from your goal of installing media pipe application on an android device now you can just build any example application which is already inside the repository which we have uh, already cloned in over here it's basically over here in media pipe you will see examples and in android source java com and google and media pipe apps and these are all the apps which you can uh, basically run on android okay so in our case let's just uh, choose this android application which is hand tracking or you know what i'll just go with iris one so i'll just copy the uh, name of this folder iris and i'll paste in over here give a colon and again paste the pa uh, name which is iris tracking gpu and you can you just have to hit enter and this process is going to take a lot of time and a lot of data if you are doing this for first time, if you are doing this for second, third, fourth, uh, so on time, 
it's just going to take uh, some amount of time for processing yeah it's done you see that it's already done because i have already done that but in your case it's going to take a lot of time be prepared about that and a lot of data i think around 2 to 3 gb of data and now once the application is created you can either install in two ways either by using adb so let's just copy this and you can paste this command in over here and in our case it's iris one yeah so i'll just say iris hit tab and then iris apk dot apk and you have to just to connect your device with your uh, laptop and make sure debugging mode is enabled and usb debugging is enabled and you can connect your phone and hit enter and it's going to install the application on your device second option is to uh, you just go in your media pipe repository uh, directory when we just cloned it and you should see this bezel bin folder in that there is media pipe then example then android source java com google media pipe apps and these are all apps so i have done for face mesh and then hand tracking and then iris tracking now uh, for this video i have done this iris tracking gpu yeah? so let's just uh, open this folder and in that you should see a uh, apk file which is over here which is iris tracking gpu dot apk now you can just copy this application and paste it uh, on your device and just install it and run it that's all just provide the permission camera permission and you have to run this uh, two or three times i know it's happening for my case all only or in your case it might happen you can just close the application and then again run it it will just work pretty fine so that's how you can install media pipe for android and you can run media pipe applications on your android device and in the upcoming videos we might use media pipe to create stunning application by using media pipe and i am super excited to take you through all that and if you are also you can just hit subscribe so that you never miss any video so this is it for this video i hope you should have learned something new today if yes give this video a thumb up i'll see you in the next video and if you get any error make sure you ask them uh, by uh, using the comment section or getting contact me like link from below description and choose your way of contacting me either linkedin or discord or facebook page so that's it bye